What is up crafters? Today we're going to be setting out bungee cord for your Minecraft server. Now before we begin, like, what the f*** is bungee cord? Is it one of these? No, it's a proxy software for Minecraft servers. Wow. So think of it this way. What if I wanted to have a server that had multiple game modes, like a lifesteal SMP and a box PvP server, or whatever kids play these days? You could run a lifesteal SMP and a box PvP server on the exact same server if you wanted to, but this could lead to high resource usage and plugin conflicts. So the conventional solution is to run a bungee cord proxy, which can link up multiple spigot servers. Think of servers like Hypixel. There are multiple different game modes that you can connect to through their lobby. Basically, players will connect directly to the bungee cord proxy, which will send them to the lobby server where they can select what game server they would like to connect to. If you still don't understand bungee cord, then don't worry, it'll all make sense very soon. But if you get lost or confused on something, then feel free to pop into my Discord server where I'll be happy to help you out. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get your bungee cord proxy set up and ready to play. All right, so to install bungee cord, what we'll want to do is head to this Jenkins page and you'll find bungeecord.jar. You can download this and we'll just go ahead and click on that to download it. If you get this, don't worry, it's a false positive. You can also use waterfall, which is a fork of bungee cord that's a little bit more optimized. This is what I use for my servers. So we can just go ahead and click on here, but you don't need to download both of these, just choose one. So then we'll want to head into our server that we're going to run our bungee cord on. So you want to head into your file manager and upload your waterfall or your bungee cord. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the waterfall one. And then we'll want to rename it to server.jar or whatever jar file that your server is looking for. So usually it's server.jar. So we'll want to go to our console and start our server up. There we go. Bungee cord proxy start up like really fast. It's only been out for five seconds. So there are a few things that we'll need to modify and change to get our server to work. So inside our file manager, we we'll want to head into the config.yml and you'll want to look for IP underscore forward, set this to true. And then we'll want to change the address of our lobby server because remember, there are multiple spigot servers underneath the bungee cord proxy. So conveniently enough, I have my spigot server right here. So we can go ahead and click on that address and then we'll paste it in right here. And then we can click control S to save. And that's all we need to do in our bungee cord config for now. So we'll go ahead and restart our server. Once again, up in one second. So now we can go to our Minecraft and if we were to copy the IP and direct connect to it, ignore the fact that it's already there and then join it. Obviously it's not going to work because there are a few things that we need to configure on the spigot server first. Okay, so now to configure the things in our spigot server that we need to configure, you'll want to head to your file manager and you'll want to look for server.properties and we'll want to change the online dash mode to false. And we'll also want to change the enforce secure profile to false. This just sometimes messes with Minecraft and doesn't let people chat. So I always like to set that to false. And then we can click control S to save. And then we'll want to head into our spigot.yml and set bungee cord to true. And we'll also want to go into the bucket.yml and change the connection dash throttle to negative one. And then if you're running an offline mode proxy, meaning that cracked players can join your proxy. Then you'll want to head into your config on your paper server, go into paper dash global, and we'll want to look for proxies, bungee cord online dash mode. We'll set that to false, but I'm running an online mode proxy, so we don't need to worry about that. And then we'll want to head into our console and start our server or restart it. A few moments later. Okay, there we go. Our spigot server has started up, but there's one more thing I'd like to mention. That is if you are using the via version or via backwards or via rewind plugins, you'll want to install them only on your spigot servers and not your actual proxy. You can install them on the proxy, but it's recommended to just install them onto the spigot servers. So now we should be able to join our server. So there we go, we are in the game. So there is a potential problem with our current setup, and that's that anybody with a proxy can join our backend or spigot server. So the solution to this problem is to use the plugin called Bungie Guard. So what we'll want to do is download the Bungie Guard plugin. So I 
have found issues with version 1.3.3, so I recommend just using 1.3.2. So you can download that. And now I'll show you how to set it up. So you want to head to your Bungie Cord Proxy and inside of the plugins folder, we'll want to upload the Bungie Guard jar. And then you'll want to head to your console and restart your server. Okay, there we go. Our Bungie Cord Proxy has started up so we can see Bungie Guard is installed on here. So we can go into our file manager, our plugins, and we can see there's now the Bungie Guard folder. So basically what we'll need to do now is go to our Spigot server and inside of our plugins folder, we'll need to also upload that same Bungie Guard file. And now we just need to restart this server as well. Okay, so now we can type PL and see that Bungie Guard is installed. So we can head to our file manager inside of our plugins. And then we can also see that the Bungie Guard is on here as well. So basically the Spigot server, it's going to have these allowed tokens. So what we can do is go to our Bungie Cord proxy inside of here, and then we'll want to copy this token. And then inside of here, go down, space in two, little one of these, and then paste in that token. Control S, and now we can go and bungee guard reload. So now we are all good to join. So if we go ahead and join the server, there we go, we're in. As we can see, it worked. So now I'm going to show you what happens if it's not set up properly and if somebody tries to join your proxy with the wrong token. So we can go to our files, go to our plugins, Go to our bungee core guard and we're just going to completely remove this or comment it out and then bungee guard reload and now we try to join there we go it says that we were unable to authenticate that's because the it was not looking for our token so therefore we were kicked so basically if somebody gets your token then that means that they would be able to join your proxy this may cause issues but thankfully now our network is secured. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the process for adding a Spigot server one more time, that way you fully understand it. So we go into our file manager, go into our server.properties, and we will want to look for and first for secure profile, remember set that to false, and then the online mode, set that to false as well. And then we can go into the spigot.yml, set bungee cord to true. And then we want to go into the bucket.yml, set connection throttle to negative one. And then we'll want to go back and copy the IP, head back to our bungee cord proxy and go into our config.yml. And now we need to copy this. So I'll just, just, just look, look, I, I'm, this is probably like not the right way to teach this but just, just ignore that because I had already copied that. So we'll just get rid of that, I ignore this. But there we go, and now we need to change the server name. So we'll make this Lifesteal SMP. There we go, now let's restart our proxy. And then we'll want to go back to our other Spigot server and we'll want to install the Bungie Guard plugin as well on here. Start that boy up. And we can go ahead and Grab our bungee guard token one more time. And then back to our file manager, back to our plugins, bungee guard, config, and then one, two, hyphen, and paste that in. And then bungee guard reload or restart the server. Now, if we were to connect to our server, we're still in the lobby, but we can do slash server lifesteal SMP. And there we go. Now we're in the other server, the other spigot server that I literally just added. So that's how you make a bungee cord proxy or a waterfall proxy. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe. I know in my last video that I said that I wouldn't be doing the bungee cord tutorial unless enough people asked for it. Absolutely nobody asked for it. I just felt like doing it. So here we are. Well, make sure to join my two Minecraft servers, which just so happen to both be bungee cord or technically waterfall. If you need a reliable hosting for your Minecraft server, definitely check out Spring Racks hosting link in the description. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Happy crafting.